You are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is b to the power 6. This is equal to 3 to the power 6. What is the value of b? What are the values of b? Now, solution from here, we can express b to the power 6 as b to the power 2 raised to the power 3. This is equal to 3 to the power 6, which you can express as 3 to the power 2 raised to power 3. The next step is to take 3 to power 2 raised to power 3 on the left hand side so that here we have b to power 2 raised to power 3 subtract 3 to power 2 raised to power 3 this is equal to 0. Now this is actually the difference of two cubes expressed as a to power 3 minus b to power 3 which we can express as a minus b then a squared plus a times b, then plus b squared. Now, from this identity, from this identity, we find that a is the same thing as b squared, and we have that b is the same thing as 3 squared. So, here we'll have b squared minus 3 squared, close the bracket, and then here we have a squared, which is b to power 2, raised to power 2, then plus a b, which is 3 squared, this is 9 b squared, and then plus b squared, which is, this is actually 3 squared, 9, 9 squared, which is 81, this is equal to 0. Now, we have two parts here. The first part is b squared minus 3 squared. This is equal to 0. The second part here, we have b to power 2 raised to power 2. This is b to power 4 plus 9 b to power 2 then plus 81. This is equal to 0. Now, from the first part here, which is b squared minus 3 squared, which is equal to 0. This is actually the difference of two squares, which we can express as x squared minus y squared, which is x plus y, x minus y. So from here, we'll have b plus 3, and we have b minus 3. This is equal to 0. Now, we have two parts here. This is b plus 3 equal to 0. And here, we have b minus 3. This is equal to 0. Here, we have b1, the first value of b, equal to minus 3. And we have b2 here equal to 3. Now, these are the first two real solutions that we have. These are the first two real solutions that we have. Now, this is the first part that we have solved. Let's proceed to the second part here, which is, this is the polynomial of fourth degree, which is b to power 4 plus 9b squared plus 81. This is equal to 0. Now, the second part here, it's a polynomial of fourth degree, or rather what we call aquatic equation. And to solve this, polynomial equation. Now, you find that we can apply the difference of two squares approach. That is now b to power 4 plus 9b to power 2 plus 81. This can be expressed as, now this is the same thing as b to power 2 plus 9 raised to power 2, then subtract. Now, here we have 3b squared. Now, as you can see here, this is the difference of two squares expressed as x squared minus y squared. So, x squared minus y squared, this is the same thing as x plus y, x minus y. Now, from this part here, we have that x plus y, this is the same thing as 
b squared plus 9 then plus 3b now we set this equal to 0 and we have x minus y this is equal to we have b squared plus 9 subtract 3b and again we set this equal to 0 now let's call this equation 1 and let's call this equation 2 let's start with case 1 here let's start with case 1 case 1 we have b squared plus 9 plus 3b this is equal to 0 we can rearrange this equation as b squared plus 3b plus 9 this is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation of the form a b squared b squared plus 3b plus 9 equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation of the form a b squared plus b times b then plus c this is equal to 0 from this quadratic equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to 3 and c is equal to 9 so from here we can solve for b3 and b4 from here we can solve for b3 and b4 by applying the quadratic formula which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all this divided by 2 times times a substituting the values of a b and c we have minus 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is 3 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 then times c which is equal to 9 all this divided by 2 times 1 so this is negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared which is 9 minus 9 times 4 which is 36 divided by 2 so this is equal to minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 36 this is minus 27 divided by we have minus 3 plus or minus the square root of minus 27 over 2 so this is minus 3 plus or minus we can express the square root of minus 27 as the square root of 9 times 3 times negative 1 divided by 2 and the next step here will have minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 this is 3 the square root of minus 1 this is i then square root of 3 all this divided by 2 so this is what is b3 comma b4 so these are two complex solutions these are two complex solutions under case 1 so let's proceed to case 2 let's proceed to case 2 now case 2 we have under case 2 here we have b to power 2 plus 9 subtract 3b this is equal to 0 we can now let's solve for case 2 in case 2 we have b to power 2 plus 9 subtract 3b this is equal to 0 now here we can rearrange this as b squared minus 3b plus 9 this is equal to 0 so this is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 now from this quadratic equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 3 and c is equal to 9 so to solve for b5 comma b6 this we can as apply the quadratic formula that's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all this divided by 2 times times a so here we can substitute a b and c we have minus minus 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared this is minus 3 
squared minus 4 times a which is 1 then times c which is basically equal to 9 then divided by 2 times 1 so here we have minus times minus 3 this is 3 plus or minus the square root of minus 3 square and this is 9 then minus 9 times 4 which is 36 all this divided by 2 so here we have 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 36 this is minus 27 divided by 2 so here we have 3 plus or minus we can express the square root of minus 27 as square root of 9 times 3 times minus 1 all this divided by 2 so here we have 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 this is 3 the square root of minus 1 this is i then square root of 3 all this divided by 2 so again here we have b5 comma b6 this again these are two complex solutions these are two complex solutions in case two so in total we have six solutions we have six solutions to this exponential problem in total we have six solutions to this exponential so, uh, problem where b1 is equal to b1 is equal to negative 3 b2 is equal to 3 then we have b3 comma b4 this is equal to now this is a uh, two complex solutions that's minus 3 plus or minus 3i square root of 3 divided by 2 then we have b5 comma b6 which is 3 plus or minus 3i square root of 3 divided by 2 now these are four complex solutions these are four complex solutions and only two real solutions here so kindly follow the steps like this video and subscribe kindly like and subscribe see you in the next video